Now, I, I, inshallah ta'ala, very briefly, I'm going to talk about a, a couple of things that are plaguing our ummah today. You know, we have to understand the time in which we live. If we want to understand the teachings of our deen, we have to understand Quran and Sunnah. And we also have to have a good understanding of when we are living, where we are living, what is around us, what's happening in the society around us. That actually happens to be a statement of Ibrahim alayhi salam that we find. That a man must know the age in which he lives. This is something we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be aware of our surroundings. You know, the Muslims today, the vast majority of them have lost touch with their religion. And they've become more concerned with the practices of their tradition of the family than they are with the religion. Okay, they're, they're more concerned with their culture than they are with the religion. So when their young son or daughter becomes a little bit religious and says, I want to get married, but I want the nikah to be in the masjid. The father says, are you crazy? We don't do that in our family. We'll get a hall. And he's, the son says, or the daughter says, I want the gathering to be separate. I don't want men and women mixing. No, 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 we don't do that in our culture. This is extreme, you're, you're turning into a crazy person. So we're not, don't be crazy like that. That's not how we do things in our family. That's not our tradition. Have you heard that before? That's not our tradition. Okay, that's not your tradition. If you're, for example, from the Indo-Pak or the Arab society, right? That's not your tradition. But what about your fathers and their fathers and their fathers and their fathers? If you go back seven or eight generations, your great 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 grandfather would have said the same thing that this youth is saying. So whose truth is the tradition? <laughs> who's upholding the tradition? And who's defying the tradition? These, these ideas of we don't do things this way, we don't act like this. This is the hypnosis that the colonizers put on the Ummah of Islam. They came and put these clothes on us. They taught us how to eat with a fork and spoon. Right? To know that English is the language of the dignified and Arabic is the language of people who don't really get a good education. Right? They taught us this stuff. And then we got so hypnotized into thinking this is our way. This is our way. SubhanAllah. We have to have a sense of dignity for who we are. For what our legacy is. Our legacy is not 50 years old. And this is the other thing that happened to this ummah. It is part of our problem today. We think our history, those of you that are from Pakistan, oh, we're a, we're a tradition of 50 years ago. Or 70 years ago, right? Or we're a 100 year old country, we're a 200... No, we're a 1400 year old plus ummah. Those lines were not drawn by Muslims. Who were they drawn by? By kuffar, by the enemies of Islam. Don't think that's our tradition. Our tradition is much bigger than that. 